welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a April reset, which is probably one of my fave month resets because it's my birthday month. And it's literally April 1st, April Fools. We're gonna start off the month great. This video, I'm literally just winging it how I usually do my other videos. I'm gonna talk about the books that I read last month, the books I wanna read this month. I'm gonna clean up my room a little. It's actually not as bad as it usually is for these videos, but there's still like stuff like lingering around so i am gonna pick all of that up i'm gonna go to my calendar on my planner write down some stuff i'm going to do this month and then i'm gonna write down some goals change my home screen and yeah do all the stuff that we normally do in a reset yeah i'm actually going nowhere today my outfit is so cute and my hair came out so good i just have these like low-rise camouflage sweatpants on with this white tube top and then my necklaces. This one I always wear. This one just has an E on it. But yeah, a quick little fit check because it's so cute. Oh, let me actually show you guys what I got from Shein. So I got this set. This is the top, a tube top like this, and then it crosses and goes around. You guys can't really tell what it is, but you know, whatever. And then the skirt looks like this. Yeah, that's that. And then I ordered this bikini. That's what it looks like. Super cute. It's just like a normal string bikini. And then these are what the bottoms look like. So that was a quick little haul too. Next, I'm going to talk about the books I read in March. Okay, so we're on the floor now where my books are. I have five books that I read this month, which I am so proud of myself for. I've always been like the slow reader. I've never read that many books in a month. And I read five this month, so... I'm proud of myself. These are four of the books I read. The first book I read was on my phone, which was Final Offer. Oh, say hi, Whiskey. Hi. <laughs> so he's just gonna stay here, make an appearance. But first book I read this month was Final Offer, which it was the third book, okay. First book I read this month was Final Offer, which it was the third book in the Dreamland Billionaire series. I did talk about this in my last video, I think. I don't know which video. It was the video where I was getting ready ranting. But I did talk about it in that video. And the rating I gave it, which I'll say it again, I gave it 4.75. Which was because I honestly loved the book. I just didn't get the five star feeling. And that's the only reason why. But yeah, really good book still. Loved it. Next book I read was X's and O's which was super cute i gave this one i actually have to get my phone i don't know what i gave some of these oh, i'm pretty sure i gave that book four stars yeah i gave x's and o's four stars it was a good book super cute i was just confused okay really like you're just gonna stand there anyway I was just confused because for most of the book, it just didn't seem like he liked her. Like, he was always friend zoning her, which, like, I guess it's to, like, not expect it coming. But it was just, like, too much friend zoning. Like, it was like, does he really even like her? Like, I don't know. And then at the end when they got together, it was, like, a little just random rushed. But it was still a really cute book. I liked the whole concept of it. She was, like an influencer and she goes on like dates with her exes because she wants like this second chance romance for herself super cute book next book i read was everything i know about love which i had been dying to read this book because i'd heard so many good things about it but it was a memoir which is really different from what i usually read you guys know i literally only like romance or well i've only read romance so that's what I like. So reading this was like very different and it was just not my type of book. It was still good though. It's just every other chapter I would just be like, oh, I don't really like it. Or then a good chapter would come and I was like, oh, like I love this book, whatever. So I gave this book three and a half stars because I was going to give it three stars so that it could like lie right in the middle. Like I liked it, but I didn't. But I also leaned more towards liking it so i gave it three and a half if you would enjoy reading about literally what it says on the cover what it says on the cover is what you're getting i don't know i guess i can't really judge if that's true like it literally says everything i know about parties dates friends jobs life love literally every single thing parties jobs you hear about everything in detail so you can't really complain when you get in detail about what job she was working when she was like 20 but yeah three and a half stars next book i read was Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I gave this book 4.75, just like Final Offer. Same reason, I literally loved the book. I just didn't get the five-star feeling. Like how I did with Summer Broken Rules, like every time, oh my God. 
Like, every time I talk about that book, I'm just like, ugh, like, I love that book. But with this book, it's like, I loved it, but it's not, like, five-star worthy to me. And compared to, like, Marcella, who's literally obsessed with this book, she definitely loves the book more than I do. So it's, like, 4.75. For me. But yeah, I don't even have to explain what this book is about, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I'm, like, the last person to read this book. It's just about a journalist writing about Evelyn Hugo's life and her seven husbands and her love life, all these scandals she's gone through. But yeah, it was a good book. Very interesting. And then the last book I read that I literally finished last night, last day of March, was The Cruel Prince, which was my first fantasy book. I gave four stars. It was pretty good. For the first fantasy book I read, the only thing is in the beginning, it was just confusing for me. I feel like there wasn't a lot of explaining to what this world was, which I don't know if that's how fantasy books are supposed to be. But I did watch Destiny's like reading with her, reading The Cruel Prince. And she said the same thing, that she was just like thrown into the world, which is exactly how I felt. So I was like, great, I'm not crazy. And in the beginning, I just, I was into the book because I did finish it like, Quick, but I started getting more into it towards the end where I was like like gasping closing the book highlighting underlining That's when I got more into the book. So yeah, but I have heard that the first book is everyone's least favorite and the other two are better I'm waiting to get the next one. It's supposed to get here tomorrow. Actually, I literally ordered it right after I finished So I'll probably start that as soon as I get it. But yeah, those are the five books I read in March. Again, so proud of myself for reading five books. Oh, I have a new book added to my collection. Magnolia Parks. I have been dying to read this book and I'm so happy I have it now. Like I'm literally gonna start it as soon as I can. I just heard that this is really frustrating and I can't deal with frustrating right now. You know, I just can't do that to myself. But I do want to read this really soon. Maybe I will read it just to start it. I don't know. But next books I'm going to read in April. I'm for sure going to read The Wicked King, which is the next book in the series. For sure want to read that in ap April. I think I might also start Things We Never Got Over because two people have already told me to start it and that it's really good. So I think I might just start it. Whiskey is back, clearly, covering the camera. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But yeah, things we never got over, definitely on my soon TBR. Oh, reminders of him, which is on my desk right now. I think that is on my desk, on my night table. I think that is the next book I'm gonna read and then after I'm gonna read um, The Wicked King. Yeah, I have a good amount of books that I wanna read in April. Hopefully I could also read five. I don't want to stretch because I don't even know how I did that But we'll talk about my goals whenever we get to the planner and I do that. But yeah, that's all for books Okay, so now what I'm gonna do since it's really quick is just Change my home screen for March. I did show you guys in one of my other videos, but this is just what it looks like um, just very colorful, but obviously for April. I'm gonna do it themed for like my birthday Yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with that Okay, so I just finished with my home screen. I made it like super pinky and cute, obviously, because one of my favorite colors is pink. And it's my birthday month, so gotta be cute. So the calendar, I basically literally just made pink and white. And then for the first widget, I put God, it's Bruder out here from Olivia Rodrigo's song because in that song there's a line that says, I'm so sick of 17, which I'm turning 17, so yeah this next widget here just says taurus reliable devoted trustworthy the top one says taurus with like the bull and then is it a bull or isn't it a taurus wait i don't know whatever whatever signifies taurus and then the next widget says dancing queen young and sweet only 17 because that's literally me dancing queen um so yeah that's my home screen super cute now what we'll do is set up my calendar in my planner and here is Reminders of Him. It's literally not even that long. It's like 300 pages, I think. 320 pages. So, super quick. I could probably finish this. I'm not even going to put a time for when I could finish this. But I could finish this super quick. So, yeah. Probably next book I'm going to read. But anyway, now to get on to April. I love how April is always like this cute sage color. And like Taurus. Like it's always that sage color. Cute. And the little quotes here and here. This one says, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. And this, this one says, the world needs what you have to offer. How 
cute. I'm just going to do it with my pink highlighter thing. So monthly goals. So for books, I'm just going to put four books to read. Because honestly, I think I could do five, but I don't want to put that pressure on myself. So I'm just going to put four books to read this month. I want to say workout. I, I really do, but I never stick to it. But we'll put it. We're just gonna put workout. We're not gonna put like a certain amount of times because we've seen that doesn't work. So we're just gonna put workout on there. We're gonna put honor roll, not principles honor roll, which honestly, yes, is sad. I'm putting down the goal for myself because um, it used to be principles honor roll, which I've been getting really close to. Last month, I literally got two Bs, but this month has been so stressful, the third quarter. Because the assignments just getting harder. They keep giving us harder assignments, more work. Testing season is coming up. So it's just more stressful. And I currently have two C's. Which some people are going to be like, oh, like that's not even that bad. But for me, it is. Like, I hate seeing those C's in the grade book. And the grade book actually closes, like, this Friday. I can't have that. I literally have, like, five days to get those two C's up. But whatever. I'll update you guys on what I get for the third quarter. Any more goals for this month? I don't really have any more goals that I think I should write. Important dates to remember. Tuesday, which is, I have to look at the calendar on my phone. Tuesday, which is April 4th, is our Mr. Matter event, which is basically just an event where um, our dance team has to get a guy and it's like a, basically a boy pageant. They have to answer questions, learn like two little short TikTok dances, show off a talent and then they name first second and third place and fan favorite so yeah it's a super cute fun event oh tomorrow i'm going to the fair but that's not really an important date that i have to remember my birthday obviously but is there anything before that oh april 6th my grandma's and emily's birthday oh my god easter i forgot easter was a thing to be honest april 9 is easter it's the way i literally forgot easter was a was a was a holiday you know and then the 27th my birthday okay now i'm gonna go to the actual like calendar and put in more specific things that are happening which i don't really know any specific things that are happening i would have to like take my time and think about it um but i'll get back to you guys and let you guys know how it comes up okay so i just finished writing everything i made it look super cute and pink and so I just decorated April up here, filled in the blank spaces from the last month with hearts, and then put April Fools. Tomorrow I'm going to the fair, so I put fair day. I literally tried to draw rides, but let's not even look at that. Tuesday, Miss, I mean Monday, Mr. Matter practice, and then Tuesday is the show. Thursday is my grandma's birthday and Emily's birthday. The next day we don't have school. Sunday, Easter Sunday, I drew some like cute little eggs and then I don't know anything that's going on in these days That's why it's like so empty there But then down here for the 23rd I have my sister's baby shower and then April 27th 17th birthday And then I just put a cute little sticker that says celebrate and then here I put a sticker that says day off too And then I also added a sticker here that says you are loved How sweet so I'm just gonna leave this open like I usually do in the month of April. Next, I am going to show you guys my current favorites playlist, which honestly hasn't changed. The only song I've added to that is Karma by Taylor Swift. That is the only song I've added to my current favorites playlist. But I did make a new playlist that I have been listening to every time I shower, every time I need to clean up my room or do something to distract myself. I literally play this playlist, which is a Drake playlist. I'm just going to screen record and let it like glide by as I say all the names. But first song is Headlines. I guess it's F Me, Hotline Bling, Wants and Needs. Knife Talk, Sticky, On BS, Get Along Better, More M's, Texco Green, Fair Trade, Spin About You, Jimmy Cooks, Laugh Now, Cry Later, Nonstop, Major Distribution, A Keeper, Love All, Fake Love, Control All, which I don't know that why that one doesn't play. That's weird. Teenage Fever, Too Good, Cameras, One Dance, Take Care, Hold On, We're Going Home, Jungle, Yebba's Heartbreak, Marvin's Room, Jumpman, Know Yourself, and then Work. But I don't know why Work doesn't play either. Because that one's so good. It reminds me of the Super Bowl. So yeah, that is a place I have been jamming 
a whole lot. Next thing I'm gonna do, which I usually do this first, but I didn't, I don't know why, is just clean up my room, which it's not that messy. I just have this hoodie up here because I was gonna put it on right now. And then I have my pajamas. And then up there, I have like stacks of clothes. But the only reason is up there, it's not because I just leave it up there because I don't feel like putting it away. It's because I run out of hangers. Then I have to leave my clothes out because there's no more hangers and my drawers are full, so nowhere to put them so i just leave them up there but i'm pretty sure i have hangers because i've been like using clothes and you know what i mean whatever i'm gonna go put those clothes away and clear the rest of my dresser over there and the rest of my room while i put on this hoodie <laughs> Okay, so I also filled up my plant as you probably saw because I have to do that every Saturday Oh, I actually couldn't put most of the clothes that were up here away. I still don't have hangers So these are just literally gonna have to stay there. What is he doing? Laying where I sleep, but look how cute he is. Like are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How freaking cute I need a picture Okay, so I think this is where I'm going to end the video because I have nothing else to do. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you know when I post my next video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.